Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to talk about Tesla config codes or build codes and why they're important and how to find them. So first, why are they important? Well here we've got a car that looks essentially the same. It's a Tesla Model S facelift but there's a lot more to it than that. How do you know which one has a premium audio or a cold weather pack? The air suspension, as all those things used to be options in the early days. Which one's a Raven car and which one's not? And then important changes under the cover which you may not be aware of, things like which MCU version or AP hardware has it got and has it been uncorked? All these things are buried in the option codes. And it's not just the Model S and the Model X that have these issues. The Model 3, while you know it seems to have been the same car for quite a long time in terms of the long range with just one facelift, battery sizes have changed quite a lot, the interior design has changed, some have heat pumps, some have heated steering wheels, there's been motor type changes, some have matrix headlights. So even for the same model, there's been a lot of changes. One place you can look is the Tesla app because this includes a spec sheet and that details things like the interior and exterior colour and the wheel type. It also mentions the packages like which version of autopilot you're on. It also includes some basic information about the warranty on the car. You can also look under the software menu in the car. Initially this will just show you the packages installed. This one just has autopilot and don't confuse full self-driving computer with a package. Um, but also it has additional vehicle information and this car has the heat pump and a few other bits and pieces which may be useful information to potential buyers. This car is slightly different and it has some additional packages, things like EAP and acceleration boost. You can also log into my Tesla and this will tell you pretty much the same details you'll see in the app. This includes things like the interior and exterior body colour and some of the key options you've got installed, plus the warranty information. If you're logged into my Tesla, you can click a specific Tesla link which we include on our Buy New Tesla page, which will reveal a whole load more information about the cars you have on your account. This is particularly useful for uh, reservation holders because it may reveal their VIN number before they get formally told it, but it will also include the option code list from Tesla. Uh, we've highlighted the example here for this particular car. If you take that configuration code and drop it into our lookup, we'll decode each of the codes individually, and if we have a model number, we'll decode that into all its specification for performance and so on and so forth. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, you haven't got access to my Tesla or it's not on your account. Um, if it's a third party car, you can always ask the seller to show you some of this information. If you're actually buying from Tesla, well on the website they give you the key features and some of the high level information. But the detailed information is still there and available. One way is to look at the source code of the web page, do a search for the manufacturing option code string and the actual configuration string follows that. We've put it in a text editor to make it easier to see, highlighted the codes, and then we've lifted those, and we'll put those into our website. You can see a complete breakdown of all the option codes again, um, and with the Model S and the Model X, it does go into a really low level of detail. The good news though, if you use Tesla Info, we do all this hard work for you, and each of our detailed inventory pages will show you all these option codes naturally. We'll take that option code information and provide our own summary of the key features available on each car, including things like its range. We'll also give a breakdown of information, including when it was first registered, um, its price history, and also whether it's got detailed pictures available, which some CPO cars do have in various countries. We just try and make it easier and make the information available to you, the buyer.